In this video, I'm going to show you how I turn this image into this image in Photoshop. Last week I was driving through an industrial section of Waterbury, Connecticut and I took these shots which I thought were pretty cool but while I was there I did find this amazing church called St. Anne's and I ended up stopping there and taking some shots. What I want to do today is show you how I process one of the images that I took in Photoshop. So after walking around the church a little bit, this was the composition I liked the best. I like the balance. I like the different layers of the church. Um, I've already done some work in Lightroom. I converted to black and white. I pulled up the shadows a bit, pulled down the highlights a tad, but did not do too much. Now I'm in Photoshop. And remember, there's a lot of ways of doing the same thing in Photoshop. So if you see something I'm doing and you know a different way or a better way, please comment down below because I find it helpful and certainly uh, the viewers will find it helpful as well. I have already made a number of selections, selected the sky, different parts of the building. Uh, to do that, I used the polygonal lasso tool. Uh, it's a little tricky. Polygonal lasso tool is great for straight lines, but it's tougher on curved lines. And I made one bad mistake, and that was for the sky. I did use this polygonal lasso tool for the sky. It took me about an hour to do it. And I forgot that there's a new selection tool in Photoshop. If you just go up to select and then click sky, uh, Photoshop will select the sky, and it does an amazingly good job. And if I zoom in, you see this is a great selection. Even some of the, the holes in the spire and the cross up there, uh, it picked that up too. And so I would have saved myself a lot of time. Uh, i got to remember that next time. Um, I'm going to delete that selection or unselect it by hitting Command D. Um, so to save a selection, I make the selection. I go to Select, Save, and then hit uh, think of a name for it and hit Enter. But since I've done it already, I can go in and load the selection. I'll start with the sky. So with the sky, I really wanted the sky to be much darker and more dramatic. And so to do that, I used, as I do with all the steps here, the uh, curves adjustment layer. So what I wanted to do was darken it. And to do that, you basically want to pull down on, on the curve. In fact, I, what I did was I put a bunch of points in there and pulled down across most of the um, of the dynamic range. Um, I even pulled down the highlights a little bit too. So I, I brought it down quite a bit, as you can see. Um, but that cloud that was behind the church, I really wanted that to remain kind of highlighted. And so if I leave that on the right, uh, you know, somewhat above the other parts of the curve, um, you kind of get this nice dramatic effect. And that's what I was going for. And so here's the before and here's the after. Really quite different. Now when I looked at the building, the light was pretty flat as you can tell. But what I wanted to do was process the image as if the light were coming over my right shoulder from the right side of the image. And so the faces or the parts of the building facing that way will be brighter. And so for example, I'm going to go in and load a selection of, um, let's see, lower front. Forgot all the names, but you can see if I zoom in a little bit, it's this front of the building on the, uh, on the lower part of the image. Um, and what I want to do is brighten it up. So I'm going to choose a curves adjustment layer. I'm going to pull up in the middle and you see you get that brighter uh, facade now as if the sun were hitting it. Um, I did add a little bit of a gradient just to make sure the top half was a little bit brighter than the lower half. Uh, very subtle, but if I, I can reselect, I can choose my gradient tool on the left. I've got my linear gradient tool selected. I'm going to make sure my foreground color is white. And then I can pull down from 
the top and you do get that modest gradient. I can deselect by hitting Command D. And then I did the same thing on the other part of the, the facade uh, that faced, again, where my imaginary sun was. I called it upper right front. Uh, again, I, used that, I did that selection by using the uh, polygonal lasso tool. Um, and so I want to go to a curves adjustment layer, pull up. I am going to reselect. Got my gradient tool already selected. My foreground color is white, so I pull down. And you get that, and you can play with it, but you get that nice uh, gradient. I'm going to deselect. So you can see, I'm going to, you know, this is the before, this is the after. Let me show you what I did with the dome, because I use a somewhat of a different technique there. So let me go and select the, I called it, uh, let's see, there's a lower dome, upper dome, sorry. So I got that selected. Uh, I'm going to use a curves adjustment layer again, pull up to brighten up the dome. Because it's a curved area, I want to accentuate that curve a little bit and make it look realistic. And so I'm going to reselect that selection. For my gradient, however, I'm going to use the reflected gradient tool. And if I pull out from the center, just that central portion will be brighter and it fades as it goes around the curve. And so you can see here's the before, here's the after. You know, that's what it would be if, in fact, the sun was coming from that direction. Uh, I'll do a couple more. You'll get a sense of how I achieve this. So even those little triangles in the middle of the, um, of the building on the roof, um, you know, it's facing the sun. It would be a little bit brighter. Now it's a dark uh, part of the building, so it's not going to be that bright. But, you know, I want to brighten it up a little bit just to create a difference. Um, and even the one above it, if I load that selection, I called it, oh, top triangle. There it is. Um, again, choose the curves adjustment layer, pull up just a little bit. Wouldn't be quite as bright as maybe the lower because it's not directly facing the sun, but um, you know, you get a sense of, of what I did. Um, that the other round part of the building as well, by the way, which I called it lower dome. Uh, I did the same thing I did with the upper dome, is which is I brightened up the whole selection. I then went and reselected, got my gradient tool, my reflected gradient tool, and pull out from the center. And again, you can play with it. Maybe you start over on the right a little bit more. But just to give you a sense, here's the before, here's the after. Uh, I worked on the chimney um, as well. So these were, I also, uh, the last thing I did I should mention is on the windows. Uh, I wanted those to pop a little bit more and be a little bit more dramatic. And so what I ended up doing was choosing a curves adjustment layer. I pulled down on the left side to darken the selection. It's this lower window here. Let me zoom in a little bit. You can see it. I pulled down on the left side, but I wanted the white of the of the building to pop, so I pulled up on the right, and you get that nice contrast. So here's the before, here's the after, and I did that with all of the windows that were kind of facing to where the sun would be. Again, just to create more drama. Um, the last thing I typically do is for the whole selection, I choose or for the whole image. I choose a curves adjustment layer and I want to add some contrast to the whole image. So I pull down on the left, pull up on the right, and you get a sense of kind of what I was trying to achieve. In fact, let me just um, show you the before and again here is the after. Hey, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of them, uh, hit that subscribe button. 
Uh, any comments would be greatly appreciated. Questions, I'll be happy to answer questions as quickly as I can. And until next time.